Hey guys, uh, I actually can't believe how cool is that. Look at this, look at this. There is a Mario running across the level. It's, it's absolutely awesome. What makes it even more awesome, this watch face has a tasker support and I've got 20 free codes to give away from the developer itself. So um, let's take a look at the minimal and elegant uh, watch faces. So, Tasker support. Uh, for some time I've been looking to find a, um, a watch face that would have a Tasker support because I wanted to display some of the information uh, just over the screen, nicely looking, um, and Auto Wear isn't really great at that. However, um, this face can display up to six variables uh, anywhere on the screen. You can uh, incorporate that into the design of the watch face. Uh, you can run tasks directly from uh, invisible overlay and you can use Tasker to change the watch faces. So I'll show you tons of other options that are available uh, with, this with this application and uh, you'll have a, a bit of an idea what you're dealing with. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll share the details of the giveaway. So let's get started. I do like this watch face actually, someone who, whoever made it was brilliant. Well, anyway, you can select the screen uh, which you will work on. So you have three presets, which is a completely round, cut off at the bottom and the square ones. And also application allows you to pick your own watch from the uh, list of supported watches. I've got LG, LG uh, Urbane, so that's what I'm going to select. The first option, watch faces, allow you to pick from the dozens and thousands of uh, watch faces available through communities and save your presets. Now, options to export and share your creations as well. And once you select your preset, you can start working on it and upload it to the watch itself. Depending on the preset, it might take a little bit to actually save it and uh, upload it. If it has animation, it will be a little bit longer uh, too. Uh, you've got also a preset schedule, so you can run the different schedules for different presets. Also, if you log in and access the community, you'll have access to more watch faces. The next up are settings. And you can choose some system settings, decide about the color patterns of your dimmed screen, and uh, how long the watch face will be available on notifications, how long they're going to be accessible from the main screen. I suspect these are only uh, system Android settings that you can play about in a config file. That's pretty much all. The next settings available are the settings in regards to digital um, time. So you can display your time as analog values or digits. And this, this section of the application allows you to customize all the settings uh, regardless the digital time. You can show the digital time in normal or dim mode. You can use 12 hour clock, adjust uh, animations, add zeros, um, make the font bigger or smaller and move it around the screen as well. Anything that relates to digital time should be here. Let's take a look now at analog time. In a similar fashion, analog time can be set as a normal mode or dim mode or both together. And then you've got a set of modifications, including the color of the hands, the thickness, even positioning of certain features of the hands and adding additional hands as well. You can save these or export and, and uh, even import it from the app. And uh, frankly speaking, there's so many different options that you can set your hands uh, in the way you want it. Next up is custom time. And again, as with previous values, you can set it in a normal or dim mode. And then you have a bunch of settings allowing you what information to enter. That information can be imported with a ready presets, uh, positioning everything nicely for you, or you can modify, modify it yourself according to the key. Um, later on, once you finish modification, you can save it uh, as a preset for later use. Uh, all text uh, can be used around the screen and the font can be adjusted, also the color as well. This is also the section where you can import the Tasker variables and display it on a screen. Next up are interactive functions and they create an invisible overlay on your screen allowing for some interactions. And this is another uh, point of entry for Tasker because uh, by clicking on the pattern you can choose a Tasker task or uh, you can um, select one of the presets in a drop-down menu. There are three available patterns, one with the multiple choices and one covering entire uh, screen. Weather options are probably most familiar to you. This is where you pick your provider, 
update refresh rate and position of the weather widgets um, and the size on the watch face itself. Another fairly simple option are steps and it allows you to log into your Google Fit and obtain the steps. And the information about the steps is available through custom text information. Color options allow you to change the color of the interactive elements on the screen. So you can either select a single color for numbers and text, or you can select the different colors for the different um, interactive elements of your watch face. So color settings, obviously under the color options. I'm going to skip the color schedule and uh, fonts because they are obvious and jump into the little worlds. And this is where the all cute animation at the bottoms can be found. You can either create your own or select from a massive array of uh, community made animations. The last setting, more backgrounds and uh, lights, allow you to download and use the presets backgrounds for your um, watch face. You can also create one as there is a shortcut for tools allowing to put some ov watch overlays over your custom backgrounds. In addition to that, you can um, experiment with some additional lighting options, changing the, um, how the scene is highlighted. I mentioned before that this watch face supports intents. Although a little bit clunky to set up, you can change additional settings uh, via Tasker using intents and there is an API provided uh, for the changes. You'll see some Boolean values or some uh, other variables that you can um, use to change the additional settings on your watch face. While for Tasker use, this might be a little bit clunky. I hope in the future this will improve and we'll get uh, just a proper uh, configuration action uh, to select the proper values we want rather than writing an intent uh, from a scratch. So once your creation is saved, all you have to do is just click on options and synchronize the changes with the watch. Just select three dot mini and send it over to the watch. Depending on the scene or depending on the watch face, it might take a moment to synchronize and upload all the files. So let's take a look now, how does it work in a tasker? Now I'm going to show you how to display some information on your watch face. In this profile, I'll take a variable a value and display it on the watch face. So flash and set clipboard options are only for me to copy the SSID as sometimes it might be a difficult SSID to copy. And then I create an if condition for every single location. So if I'm connected to certain SSID, my variable location will be set to certain value, in this case for work. Now, because uh, the watch face, the elegant and minimal and elegant watch faces don't work with the global variables, we have to change the global variable into a local one before pushing it to the watch face. And then we can use the uh, minimal and elegant plugin action to submit our variable um, to our custom tag in the config. So once that variable is picked, uh, the tasker will say, send the value of our local variable uh, to the watch face and the watch face will start displaying it. This is a very easy profile and I mostly use it if I want to limit some other profiles uh, to specific locations. So for example, if I want to have uh, some night hours mute at home but not at work, etc. So for each location, you have to specify that if condition that will uh, look at your SSID connected to Wi-Fi and then set the appropriate variable. So I've got uh, four locations and uh, it will display four different values of location on the watch face. Now there is an, another uh, well, setup for this uh, profile to work, which is for when I'm away. It means I'm not connected to any of the um, Wi-Fi's and uh, then the variable location is set to away. And obviously this is um, default profile in between all other profiles. It works exactly in the same way, apart from the fact that variable uh, location is set to away. Then I just simply convert the global variable to local and push it to the watch. Another option that is available to us uh, in this plugin is to changing, it's to change the presets. So if you save multiple presets, then you can use Tasker to um, circle between them depending on the conditions. Now, because we don't get to change many uh, options from Tasker, 
Um, I think this is the best way right now to change settings on your watch faces. So if you want to run like a darker version of your watch face, uh, you could just create a second preset and load it with Tasker itself. In this scenario, I'm simply using a time context to change between two different presets. And that's pretty much all. And now the giveaway. All you have to do is just uh, click in the link to the article. Um, in the article, you'll find a submission form, fill in the form, submit it. And on the 2nd of uh, March, I'll pick 20 uh, people at random that will receive the code for the application. Right. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Uh, today, we're going to talk about Tasker and face watches. Uh, <laughs> I did not say that. To make it even better, I've got 15... No, I've got 20. Actually, yes, I've got 20. And I've got some, so for some bizarre reason, I forgot. I've got 20 codes for you uh, to receive for free.